hi guys in this video i will show you how to add toaster notification in laravel 12 starter kit so let's get started with an example so if i go here into the laravel 12 starter kit and go to the setting page okay and if i click on save you can see that it's just simple message they give on saved okay but what in what i want to do in this example let me go to the official website that's you can see over here on the top right corner there is a simple notification success or error whatever notification okay so same thing i be, i need to do in our laravel 12 starter kit okay so let me go here i already downloaded and set up the project so first of all what i will do go here live wire and inside the setting there is a profile setting okay here i am going to add I have already designed entitlement CSS so I am going to use that uh, toaster okay and save it okay and if I go here and just refresh it you can see that there is a simple success message coming over here and it's also going after three seconds so let me go here and let me show you the code that as well you can see over here with alpine JS like X data and X data show only when it's true okay and after three seconds like after three seconds it's gone okay so that means this is the simple toaster notification okay so let's implement something like this way like uh, you know like uh, up profile updated successfully okay save it and if i refresh it you can see that profile updated successfully same when i click on the save button so let me go here and first i will create the separate component file for the flash message so i will go here and create new file that's called flash messages dot blad dot php okay and i will copy this code and add it over here okay and then i will check over here with the session attribute okay so i will use session okay if there is success session that means this to toaster should become okay so let me go edit okay save it yeah so we created flash messages dot blade file and let me clean this okay now let me create one helper function over here so let me go here and i will create new function new helper class so mac class helpers and i will say flash okay so that means i created a new class like flash over here okay and let me go here and go to the helper folder and helper flash over here and then I will say here I will create new function static function I will create so I will say static public static function and that's called success function okay and I will get message from the as argument okay and then I will simply use session flash okay and then I will pass success key and message okay save okay now i will use this class everywhere okay so like copy this okay and then let me go here into the settings profile okay and here let me go here and let me use first so we'll see use app helpers okay and then i will say flash save it okay now let me go here after saved what i need to do i will say success function and then i will pass like profile updated successfully okay so that means i just pass the message okay over here save it so that means we are going to pass the flash message from here and then it will goes here to display okay so what i will do next let me go here and for the setting there is a separate layout file so let me go here and here end of the file i just need to include that so i will say include okay and then i will say component dot okay components okay dot flash messages okay save it okay and sorry yeah it's messages yeah that's fine save it okay now let me go here and you can see their components maybe the spelling mistake components save it yeah that's fine over here okay now let me click on save you can see that profile updated successfully 
so you understand how easily we can do this if i click on it okay and refresh it let me go here and click on save you can see that profile updated successfully over here okay and let me also start npm run dev so it will be a real time okay and same thing i also want to implement for the for example if i log out and when i am going to log in and click on login again then it should be a success message over here also should be display by default it's not going to display but what i need to do same thing i need to copy this and include inside our main layout okay so main layout is sidebar layout right now and i will just include that over here okay and then let me go here into the auth and there is a login okay same thing let me use it over here help helpers and flash class okay and then i will use flash car flash class method so let me go here and you can see that after successful then i will say success and i will pass the message logged in fully okay save it okay now let me log out okay and if i click on log out and click on login and you can see that profile updated successfully so that's not the correct message so let me go here and yeah i forgot one thing let me go here and here is that i need to pass the value because message is not going to change so i will say session value save it okay now let me log out and click on login and if i click you can see that logged in successfully over here so you guys understand how easily we can do that same thing if i go here and for example setting okay now let me go to the let me close this and go to the profile and here i will remove from the required okay save it sorry not this yeah this also let me remove it and if i remove the name and click on save you can see that name field is required but there is not any toaster notification for the error validation okay so how can we do this okay so let me go here and i also need to define over here so i will copy this and here i will say like if errors okay and i will say all bigger than zero then i will just push put it over there and just i will first let test with the error error save it okay and if i remove this one click on save yeah let me refresh it click on save okay yeah just i need to use any not this so i will use the any function so remove this okay and let me go here and i will remove this name and click on save you can see that error so what i will do i will give the proper message like validation error okay and i will give the message something is wrong okay and then i will make it like background and the text color will be danger sorry not danger it's red okay so yeah red save it okay and now let me go here and remove it again save okay you can see that it's success icon so let me keep it from here so let me go here and copy this svg so like yeah it's not going to save so yeah just wait it double time just click it so let me just copy this element okay for this 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 is the icon so copy this save it and same thing i will say text danger save it okay and now let me remove this and click on save now you can see that there is a proper svg icon over here okay and then also let me make it text red save it so that means 500 so let me go and remove it and click on save you can see that validation error that means something is wrong over here so like in your application any error will trigger with the validation then automatically that prop up will come out like this way okay so i hope guys you understand how easily we can implement toaster notification with the laravel 12 starter kit if you like this video then please subscribe my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching guys